Welcome to a new vlog. This is a weekend video and as usual weekend videos are shorter than the ones I post on Tuesdays. But today we're going to be talking about 4mm banana connectors and test leads that I use on the bench. For the past few years I've been using this style of 4mm banana plug to build my test leads and silicon wires of uh, different gauges. I was getting the connectors from AliExpress for cheap and uh, at first they seemed okay but uh, what you see here is a uh, new connector never used let me show you how one that's uh, been used for the past three years looks like so this is the one that is uh, three years old and as you can see there is uh, quite a difference especially uh, on the surface on the finish uh, the coating of this connector and you might think this is the wear I inflicted on the connector but to be honest I don't think this connector got more than 10 insertions per month in the past three years and yet it is looking like almost all of the gold uh, coating uh, has wear out. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solder mask color for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper so it's definitely worth checking them out. And the biggest problem is when you try to measure large currents because in a recent video Vollog 246 I was measuring currents up to 10 amps on the input of a uh, DC to DC boost converter and I had problems getting reliable readings because the contact resistance uh, between the uh, banana plug and the uh, connector was high and it kept changing and it was also causing the uh, connectors to get hot because of the voltage drop occurring on the connectors. First of all these are flowed by design because they have this kind of split jacket spring construction and this becomes loose and fails to provide a low resistance path to the core of the connector. Secondly the materials and construction is poor quality so they wear out pretty fast. You don't want to be dealing with measurement setup issues in the middle of a measurement because then your main focus uh, shifts from uh, the main subject and it's harder to get the job done. That's when I decided I should get better connectors and luckily a distributor I like getting parts from uh, which is Comet Electronics had these uh, Hirschman 4mm banana plugs in stock in various colors. I shared the picture of these on my uh, YouTube community page a few days ago and some people already commented and said they've been using this brand of connectors for years and they still work reliably. Now the data sheet says they're made of nickel plated brass and this particular model which is the Buella 30K is rated for 30 amps and 60 volts DC which is all I ever need on my bench. There's no particular mention of where they're manufactured but I think it's possible they're made in Germany or Romania because Hirschman has a factory in Romania. I got them for about $1.6 a piece which is not bad at all considering the uh, quality and the years of usage I should get out of these uh, connectors. These uh, plugs have a solder type connection and can accept wires up to 2.5 square millimeters. So after a half an hour of soldering I got all of my uh, important uh, test leads switched to the uh, new connectors. And indeed you can, you can feel they are of uh, better quality just by the feeling they give you uh, when inserting these into a socket. You can feel how the, these, uh, these springs push against the socket and provide a good and reliable connection. I also got a uh, different set of connectors from Staubli. These are the ones that you can stack vertically and uh, uh, they are rated for just 19 amps and 60 volts but that's also plenty for what I need. These are gold plated and uh, they feature the multi rib type uh, jacket spring that we saw on the chip connectors but in, in this case uh, they are made to a uh, higher standard uh, with tighter tolerances and uh, this jacket just has a, a really nice uh, fit on the core connector and uh, it just does not spin freely 
so you wouldn't expect these to fail like the cheap Chinese ones. I just wanted to try these, uh, these out. I don't really see any advantage to them, uh, maybe for those who really need to stack them vertically, but I, I don't man, mind the uh, uh, Hirschman uh, type of connector either, where uh, you stack them like this. So no real advantage, but I wanted to, to try them out. It's likely that on future purchases, I will get the uh, Hirschman connectors uh, again, uh, because they are cheaper, simpler, and seem to have less features that could fail over time. I was disappointed this uh, distributor did not stock any uh, J uh, clip spring connectors like uh, these ones which I uh, keep connected to my uh, bench supply. I would love to replace these with uh, some higher quality ones. Uh, and Hirschman does make this type of connectors because you can find them on Fernell, but for some reason they are quite expensive to get from Fernell, about $7 a piece plus shipping. So I think I'm gonna contact uh, Comet and see if they can uh, offer me uh, this type of connector from Hirschman, maybe bring them on order or something like that. So if you're looking for some good quality and uh, affordable uh, connectors, uh, check out Hirschman or Staubli, at least in the EU. You should be able to find these at various distributors uh, with affordable prices. Uh, with Comet Electronics probably being the cheapest place where you can get uh, electronic components in general in the EU. If you are in the US, there might be other brands which you can uh, get cheaper, so you need to research the local offer. I, I know Pomona is a popular brand in the US. That was uh, all for today, just a quick chat on uh, my uh, bench test leads. Let me know what you uh, think about uh, these uh, connectors in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.